It's Rosa Kelly, welcome back to my channel and to my new crafty space. So on this video, I'm gonna show you how I set up the space. It's not fully finished, but I think this is gonna be a really good update for you. So let's get right to it. Okay, so first let me show you the cows. That is my life right now i have all my books here on the floor yeah we have been moving the studio slowly into the other room and i went ahead and organized my bookcases here and i wanted to actually have books there so i want to move these books here to that bookcase uh, but right now i have just <laughs> albums and it actually took me a long time to organize even though I don't think I'm gonna keep it this way, but I just didn't wanna have the albums all over the floor. Um, I moved that table here. I think this is going to be like a secondary crafting area for when I'm still in this room watching TV and crafting. Um, I'm gonna show you the studio in a little bit. Um, this unit, I think I'm gonna keep here. I'm not sure yet, but everything is everywhere and I am yeah, I'm really overwhelmed <laughs> to see, to say the least. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go take you to the studio. Let me show you the update here. Everything is done. Um, so I'm going to be moving those bookcases here. The other bookcases that I actually didn't show you. I have more bookcases on the hallway and those I want them on this side of the room. Um, I did bring some furniture over already and slowly trying to get things set up um, these are some new lamps that i bought for the recording area here and i just really i'm looking forward to seeing all this complete it is very over overwhelming like i said we just came back from vacation so it's like definitely not the best thing to come back from vacation into this mess but we started moving the furniture back and yeah so we still have a lot of work show to do you. on this side we actually have the sink already installed which is going to be perfect especially if i am using my brushes and painting i can come here and rinse them all out of course we do have the laundry on this area too and then here is what is going to be the gym area we still have to set this up in a way that is <laughs> less um messy so we have the mirrors installed which i just absolutely love how huge the mirrors are and this is going to be amazing once we have everything set up the tv is going to go mounted on the wall so we're still waiting on you know some little things like that and then let me show you up here on this area i went ahead and organized all of our christmas items so i like how neat that looks i clean everything up and it looks neat <laughs> in this area as you can see we installed this uh this is going to be like a pull down ladder and here's where we're going to have a little nook area we got the light installed up there already if you can see that so it's going to be cute once we have it all um fully fully finished it's not quite fully finished this area was like a second phase of the project so that's why that's not done but i did take out all of the wood here this piece of wood is going to go away so it's going to look nice and open and we're gonna move that christmas tree that we have here somewhere else as well so what i'm gonna do next is bring those bookcases here which means i have to um, kind of go through my mini albums and see which ones i'm gonna keep and which ones i'm gonna have for sale because i just have way too many and that's gonna be a process i already did a sale so this is going to be like secondary phase two um sell but I'm hoping this will be done quickly. I just had a cup of coffee, so hopefully <laughs> we have some energy to continue with this project. So this area here inside didn't change too much. This is where I'm working, so I was working this morning. And yeah, so I did put some books here on top just because I was kind of clearing out this other bookcase that I had there. So we went ahead and brought in the furniture from the living room here. Sorry, again, everything's a mess. <laughs> um, but we got a new furniture for the living room. So we decided to bring this one here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it because it is quite large. It is like 96 
inches long which is pretty long for a couch so i want to get something that's more into like the 80s 80 inches long that way it can fit uh, within the window so i don't know if you can see that it goes past the window but this is what we have for now so i don't want to do any more changes until i get everything else off the floor and organized <laughs> and so let me show you the other bookcase. this is the other bookcase here on the hallway and this is the one that i want to bring to the new studio setup and just kind of move all of these books over there and of course i have to see which books to keep because i have way too many and um so yeah so that's gonna be what i'm gonna be doing right now and hopefully it won't be too much work <laughs> so i gotta take everything out and then move the bookcases and then bring it back so i emptied the bookcase and i actually decided to swap <laughs> with the other books so i put all of my other books here they were on the floor and i'm gonna be putting the mini albums on the studio but yeah this took me a couple days to do okay, guys i'm gonna give you another little update it's actually been a couple days and we finished setting up the gym part of the garage um so we had the tv installed um we wiped down all this uh equipment because it was they were very dusty so now i have the bike here which is perfect i have been using the bike actually every morning um, i'm still going to decorate the shelves and i just really love this huge mirror so it has been working out great so far now let me give you a look on the studio you will see the fridge on the window so don't mind that we are going to probably donate that and so i i still do have it plug it in so it's functioning out there for now um but i put my desk here because i wanted you know the nice natural light and i also went ahead and installed my new lamps that i got for the studio and i didn't realize they were going to be that <laughs> big when i got them and so it's kind of making me rethink the setup a little bit here um, because if you notice the base is quite big as well so kind of interrupts <laughs> this little table which is not too bad because i don't really use what's under there i think i only have ephemera so we just move this table here and i'm going to have my um disc player here because i do really enjoy putting uh, long play on and just kind of have it on the background as I am finishing projects um, and I was thinking I'm hanging this beautiful painting there I'm not sure yet <laughs> how I feel about that and so like I said I ended up um, emptying the bookshelves out there and I realized I kind of want them to stay there so I put books in there instead of albums and I bought this other new bookshelves i got this from wayfair and i just really love it now i was anticipating to have white and i don't know if this kind of goes with the flow of this room i do like that it's different so not everything is super white and it does match the floor and the other shelving out there really nicely so i kind of want to keep it i'm not sure yet i do feel though that it kind of gets lost on the space because it's quite a lot large wall so the wall here on the center it's nine feet so this is actually quite a nice size room it probably doesn't show like that on the video but it's pretty big it's like the same almost the same size as the bedrooms in the house and so i don't know yet again if i want to keep these um and then i will have to bring other things to put on the sides here now i have this other table which is another struggle because i want to keep it um this was a perfect table for me to sit down and just have my sewing machine and instead of moving it everywhere kind of have like that dedicated space to just sewing um and it does have a glass so i put the glass there for now so it won't break because i keep moving this table so i don't know where to put it yeah it's i i want to keep it but i don't know where to put it but anyway so i'm still gonna think about that for a little bit and what else i brought this other shelf here which again works really nice it fits perfect i can have here on my dice 
um, I have some stamps and I haven't gone into like a lot of detail on the drawers because I first want to get everything with a place and then I can go ahead and go into each one of these and see what I want to keep or what I want to this stash. And then I want to get this room set up because I need to make videos. I have so many projects I want to make and I'm just really stressed with all the mess everywhere. So I definitely... <laughs> I have to power through this and let me show you on this section so we got this pull down ladder um, and it's just so cool so up there if you can see we installed this light so what I'm gonna do is put a rug on there and the girls are gonna go in there and this is gonna be like their hangout area I don't know and let me open this up so I can show you and so there you go so then you pull this down and then we have this ladder here so it makes it really easy to go up and down even if you just use this for storage it will still be very useful to have this ladder um, but we, inst we installed a like the light and some outlets up there like if the girls want to be on their ipads and need to charge it so that's going to be the hangout space and so yeah so that is the update on this room for now this is how it looks um, i think the next thing that i want to do is to start bringing my other books and just kind of finish up setting this up okay guys so i decided to keep this bookcase here and i just decorated it with some of my favorite books and i just really love how this looks so far also i brought in this other shelf from the from the living room and i was thinking on putting the shelves all over this wall because I do have a lot of books but if I do that then I don't have any anywhere to put my printer and my cameo and all of that stuff so I think I'm just gonna keep that the way it is and um, I'm going to be <laughs> going over my books and um, so I do have here on this table some of the books that I'm going to be putting for sale and so yeah so I still have a lot more books on the other room as well but yeah so it's a process it's a little bit overwhelming <laughs> i think i've done a lot for today so i'm just going to clear out my table for now and um kind of have it all set up so i can start crafting i'm gonna go eat relax and okay you guys so here is how the studio is looking now i clean the table i put on the lights for you so you can see how bright it is it's actually now a little bit dark outside so you can see them a little bit better and so i went ahead and finished setting up and these here i love how it's all decorated the books look so pretty they just give this room so much joy and inspiration and so yeah so i usually like to have my crafty things hidden and an inspiration wall which this definitely is we even brought mia's bed here so she's all set up as well <laughs> and hopefully i'll be doing some crafting on this new space um, real soon i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one bye bye